and we've come here with this video topic based on anime series that we think you guys don't know. So each one of us is going to recommend an anime or manga, some off the back that we like, but we don't think get enough shine or as much as they deserve. So I, myself, do an anime with Walking Double O Dead. So Merlin. Yo. Sand G3. It all. The anime villain. I mean, the anime hero. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right. Fuck it. Ah, yeah, it's over. <laughs> Phoenix Kai. Huh? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Come on, man. And, uh, uh, Zoro Fan Man 127. I mean, Zoro Fan Boy 127. Huh. So you didn't get Zoro. the number either. <laughs> Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one two. Oh, my bad. That's why I didn't say anything. Zoro fanboy one two four. Why are you not even fucking listening? <laughs> he's, he's, speak, he's speaking in mind. So he said he's here, he's here. So, you guys, what type of series would we have that you want to re- recommend to the masses? You know, who, if you want to get them into like good series, in your opinion, I would. And since I'm talking, I'm started off first. This is a series that I've known, and I'm actually reading another series that uh, this mangaka has done. Um, but the series that I just read over and is really good is called Holy Land. And, you know, it has a unique art style. And there's another series that he's, uh, this mangaka has done in Suicide Island. And this one main thing I could put about these series is that they're both very psychological. And the settings that the plots go through are like, how could I say drastic? Because in one, in one of them, for Suicide Island, all all these people are trapped on an island with people who have committed suicide and then they have to go against like their will to die because they don't want to die on this island because they've been set here to die and then another story is in someone who is uh, fighting for their life you know inside of this type of uh, how should I, it's like the same setting like a like a carnage setting I don't want to get too much but these like these two series I think like it shows a powerful message, and I think more people should get more into fast-paced stuff. Like I remember, like, like it reminds me of Rainbow, and and I didn't get to finish Rainbow. You guys have heard of Rainbow, right? Yeah, Rainbow. Yeah, it remi- yeah it reminds me of Rainbow, and you know, you know, there's some, there's just freaky shit that goes on in here. People get raped in like the first three chapters. Well, why do I emphasize rape so much? Like, damn, like uh, <laughs> everybody does. I mean, everybody in the community does. Like, you guys are some sick, birded hentai bastards. But <laughs> yeah, it's the sequel's out. The secret's out, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all but, yeah, we're all those two. Those, those are those are two. Those are two series I recommend for you if you want to get away from the whole action shonen thing. And these are seinen, so they're much more adult. But if you want to get away from that type of berserk, vagabond. Uh, Vinland Saga feel, and if you just want something short with a good story, you can easily get into Holy Land and Suicide Island are your best bets. Uh, and also, oh, one more, damn, I don't want to turn into. I want everybody, you know, to get their stuff. So I'm done. Uh, Ted, pass. <laughs> I mean, how do you just pass? Like he just passes it, man, because. I still haven't come up with anything. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh, I, I got a series. I got a series. All right, go, go ahead, Sam. Um, one series that everyone should definitely check out is uh, Boku no Pico, just because... <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it! And now Boku's asshole. No, no, but, 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 but if I'm being serious, um... Definitely check out Hell Season. I mean, the no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a modern classic. No, go read it now. No, <laughs> in your local books, bookstore. <laughs> oh, that's no, the best no, no, read, but, man. That's the like, adult section of the bookstore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, but I guess fucked up version of the bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the snuff in the alleyway, man. Fuck. That's the serial <laughs> killer section. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 All right. Um, I, I could. I could. Um, yeah, Jake. Come on. There's gotta be one you can recommend. Yeah, yeah. There's one. Um, I've uh, actually. It's funny because this series, um, the scans just came out today. Um, it's called Green Blood. Um, it was being serialized in 2011, and uh, scans sort of stopped. Um, if you guys like, uh, like if you guys have played the game Red Dead Redemption, I don't know if any of you guys played it, but yeah. um, if you guys have, oh, yeah, yeah. Classic. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you guys like that game, um, if you guys like the movie Gangs in New York, that was oh, a yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's that's a great movie. Love that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the opening in... fight scene of all time. Oh, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Oh, man. Just like, oh, 30 it's games started. Freaking Liam Neeson fights with a sword, bro. <laughs> Exactly, dude. Like, yeah. Yo, he was the best actor. But, 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 but anyway. <laughs> Off topic. Yeah. Off topic, yeah. But with with Greenblood, it's, it's, it's the same sort of setting with, like, you know, the 1900s, the whole cowboy motif. Um, and basically, it's about these two brothers, Brad and Luke Burns, and they're basically on a quest of personal vengeance to go and kill their father, Edward King. Who is the most, pretty much the most violent man slash the most wanted criminal in the United States? Because um, pretty much everywhere he goes, he pretty much you know raises hell, destroys towns, a lot of violence, this and that, and this and that. Um, art is beautiful. Sounds like a boss. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. He looks like a boss too. You know, um, he he actually is a boss. He's the leader of this <laughs> of this um group called. So that's the it. Sounds like a boss. You can't cause mass destruction without being a boss. Yeah, yeah. But uh, art art is amazing. Character development, especially for the two main characters, especially for Luke Burns, spectacular. Um, plot's kind of simple. It's pretty short. Uh, only only 49 chapters, but I think it's definitely worth the read. I think, you, you know, you guys will definitely enjoy it if you uh, read the whole thing through. Oh, and uh, the gunfights and the blood, incredible. They're just so beautifully, like, drawn. So, yeah. Green blood. Check it out. Uh, the author is... Uh, I, I don't know how to say his name. It's like Masasumi Kakizaki, I think. I don't know, something like that. But he's actually written, like, a lot of, like, other seinen. It's definitely a seinen type. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Dream Blood. Is it done? Yep. Cool. Oh, okay. I'm check that one out. Say Gangs in New York, I was sold, man. Oh, it's so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that movie. It's it. So good. Oh. Yeah. Do you mind if I go next, man? What if I go next? I, 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 I already know what I'm going to talk about, man. So we we'll started this conversation. Go ahead, man. It rhymes with bingdom <laughs> or fucking kingdom. Okay? Kingdom. <laughs> blingdom. It's blingdom. Blingdom, yes. No, no. It's called kingdom. Man. I could go here and talk about Gintama not for the thousandth time, but I'm going to talk about kingdom because it is so fucking amazing. I'm trying to get the green plan into it. No one listens. But... <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking until somebody watch, reads the fucking manga. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, it, it's a it's a seinen that has a lot of shonen elements to it, um, but at the same time, it just it just seems really odd. I mean, I can't really even explain how great it is without spoiling, so I, I won't get into too many details. But essentially, the main character is trying to become the greatest general in China, and his journey to get there is just it's just really amazing. And uh, I, I haven't encountered one character in the series of Kingdom that I've hated. All the characters are really well done. The writing is excellent, and it's really one of the best mangas I've ever read, in all honesty. And it's not even close to being finished where I'm caught up right now, so uh, only only good things ahead. It's consistent, really entertaining, amazing fights, epic giant battles, like the Lord of the Rings giant battles, like all those kinds of like epic giant confrontations, strategy, military strategy, that kind of stuff. And Kingdoms for You, um, really cool stuff, guys. Definitely check this one out. It's definitely worth checking out. It's amazing. Mm, I'm probably not going to check it. No, I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, you <laughs> said military <laughs> strategy. No, said mili- right yeah, there, like, shit. Yeah. Like, like, flank these motherfuckers in the side, and then you go bring these troops over here. Uh, it's, it's, it's really cool, man. It's really cool the way that they do it. Um, oh, right it's good. <laughs> it's really good, man. It's just really good. Almost... <laughs> All right, you know what? Zero, I'll check out the first couple chapters after this call. How does it sound? Yes. Bro, oh, that's why you're the dude, man. All right. I did too. I'll do it. See? It better, be, it better be good, cares. though. It better That's be good. Oh, it is. If it's not, if it's not good, I'll, I'll come after you. We're coming I'll, for I'll... Joshay. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not good, I'll commit that too. Okay. Oh. All right. Hey, everybody. Okay. That's how confident I am that you'll enjoy it. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> cool. It's confident. But someone else go for it. Come for you, Joshay. I'll go. Um, <laughs> all right. There's actually this one series that um, I found out recently. I think it's really, really innovative. It's called Harem End. Uh, I think people <laughs> should really, get, should really, should really uh, go and check it out immediately. It's pretty, pretty different. Nah, nah, I'm not fucking with you. But um, actually, there's one older manga. I, I've talked about it before, but I really think people should get into it because people really don't. But um, it's called Parasite. Good job. Pro- I know. I know. Pro- <laughs> I know. Pros are sorry. I know pros talked about it sometimes, but I, I read this a couple years ago. I think it's only like eight or nine volumes. It's pretty short. Uh, it really needs an anime adaption. Basically, 
follows this kid. He finds out there's kind of an alien invasion, and these weird parasites are kind of taking over everybody. And he gets a parasite that kind of infects with him, but gives him these powers that allow him to basically fight the other aliens. So if you're into horror stuff, if you like the movie The Thing or Guy, or it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's got a really great horror atmosphere, and it's, you know, pretty cool, simple, fast-paced plot, but it's it's really good, it's fun, and I, I'm really surprised it hasn't got an adaption. It's definitely one worth checking out. Yeah, it's a shame it's not going out, though. Yeah, I don't get why that is. I don't know. Like 20 months. years. Yeah, really. I know, it's like 20 years. <laughs> I know, it's like, about like 89 or something. Fucking like cock hands mutating and shit. You don't have to get that part. Like that. Yeah, yeah, there, there's, some, there's some weird... Uh, well, yeah. kind of, if you ever watched the movie The Thing where people like distort all fucking like weird yeah. alien like mutations yeah. and shit yeah, yeah like your yeah. parts of your body will become like a giant teeth and tentacles and shit yeah. you know? yeah. and turns like weapons and like blades and shit yeah bro pretty weird it's cool though yeah. I love it like there's like there's like a hand under a cock like... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, sorry just, cr- just cradle the balls uh, yeah. yeah you wanna go now Dad? you wanna pass Okay. Kai, Kai, Kai you go. Alright, alright, alright. The, the anime I would recommend is uh, Apocalypse Zero. Oh, god, like, seriously, Kai? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just fucking around. I'm doing trolling, Oh, 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 yeah. Well, uh, I'm real real the real seat, this one. Actually, not too much. Yo, what? Nothing. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just get around, but, but, um,. The manga I want people to check out is a manga called Blaster Nickel. So, oh, what the fuck is Blaster Nickel? Blaster Nickel. No. That's, that's, that's a knuckle. knuckle. That's a knuckle. Oh, that's awesome, it, right? it takes place in the 1800s, and, um, where these, these, um, the KKK, they're like demons, whatever, hey, and this, um, ex heavy uh, weight boxer named Victor Freeman goes out there and destroys these monsters. And looking at the book, it is sort of, have this influence of Berserk. You might as well say it's Berserk, but a black guy in it. Yeah, it's but if it's like, <laughs> if, wait, wait, Kai, like, is, is it Kai? Is, is the black guy that rapes guts at the beginning? No, <laughs> no damn, no, no, no. It, it, this is, when you're looking at the book, it's like a mixture between Django and Evil Dead and Berserk together. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome, actually. That's, yeah, that's a random company. Yeah, the characters are black guys, so <laughs> you don't see. Too many of those, especially yeah, not not manga really, not not don't bring not manga, not the anime. But um, if you like, you know, some if you like um the eighteen hundreds of you know black guy killing KKK demons, then there you go. KKK oh. demons, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's a good recommendation. I like that. <laughs> Three volumes, long, so not that long. Dead, mm. get your ass going. Ah, <laughs> right here. Right. Who's <laughs> well, going? Uh, well, I'm the only one left, man. So like, I'll go, I'll go. But uh, no, when the, when it's funny you mentioned that, Kai, because I was gonna mention that too. <laughs> hero, 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 hero. Yeah, yeah. Congo Boncho. <laughs> I, I was gonna mention Congo Boncho, oh. but I was thinking since we're in the month of October, I, I gotta recommend. A, oh, not get back or something. Right now. <laughs> I, I gotta recommend a horror series. And I, I talked about this before because um, I guess I'm gonna follow suit with where Kai was going since um. If you're into Berserk, you would definitely like Blaster Knuckle, but I also recommend you check out um, Devil Man Manga. It's only five volumes. Yeah. Blaster Knuckle, good wreck. Aman is a beast. Yeah, it's not like Devil Man. It's just that um, you can see uh, where, uh, where a lot of them, Kentaro Mura's inspirations came from with Devil Man, because the whole betrayal with Griffith and the main character between, uh, you know, the conflict between Guts and Griffith kind of did show up between uh, the two main characters in Devil Man, both uh, uh, Akira and Ryu. And uh, literally, the eclipse actually does happen in the Devil Man manga, only on a global scale. And I, I can't really explain press in, in words, man. It's just that it starts off like very shown and very superheroish that you know, just Devil Man fight against two random demons or whatever. But then once you encounter this certain turtle, like the whole story just goes into a darker direction. And wait a minute. Comes, wait, yeah, a, 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 yeah, a, it's a fucking a fucking demon turtle, man. I'm not bullshitting you. <laughs> Oh, a demon turtle. Okay, that's not the turtle. Like, like that's the thing. And then once you once you encounter that fucking turtle, like everything just goes on a darker route. Like no mercy is spared. Like it, the most explicit things you'll see, you'll see there. I mean, you have like um, one what was one of the weirdest things I've seen. You have women demons who have like mouths. They have mouths in their vaginas, man, and mouths in their breasts, man. Fucking hell. 
You fucked up. Titty, titty yeah, yeah, fangs. Yes, they have fangs there, and then there's even titty like, fangs. Yes. So wait, it's it's basically BioHunter. <laughs> No, but, City yeah, but the same thing yeah. is that is even if we're de- other looking we're de- demons as well, where this is one demon who has like, um, instead of a head, he has like a bunch of snakes on his, where his head would be and where his dick is, he has like a head there. These things that you're saying make me not want to read it. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, man. I mean, you see, you read no. Berserk, you read like worse shit in that. I mean, in Berserk, you have a guy who has a goat for a head and has a snake for a dick, so, you know. Snake, well... I mean, that doesn't trump titty fucking fangs, you know? <laughs> I, have, I have something that trumps them all, though. Uh, Kira, because, because he said penis head, I pretty much have to, like, bring this manga out now. Oh, what? Um, okay, okay. Uh, I think I might have told you about this, but uh, I, don't, I don't know if the other people know, but since we're doing the call, we might, I might as well say it. But um, it's this manga <clears throat> excuse me, called Ryu, the strongest man on the face of the planet, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, he, 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 here's the basic plot line. It sounds corny as hell, but I'll go with it. You, ha- you have this guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, his Dude. name's Ryu. And he he's like a professional like fighter, right? Um, eventually, he gets a hold of a specific mask, okay? And this mask, you know, makes him like super strong, like sort of like the masks from like part one JoJo and, and uh, part two JoJo. Yeah, yeah, like that. But uh, this mask actually transforms him into the Antichrist, right? Mm-hmm. So... God then you know has to go ahead and kill him try to do his best to kill him right yeah, Jesus. so so God uh, I'm getting there God resurrects Jesus and Jesus actually um creates an army um I'll give you guys I'll give you, I'll give you guys guesses um you guys yeah, because you tell me about this yeah yeah you go keep going sounds interesting uh so you know Jesus raises an army you know of the undead and whatever um, and he appoints two generals to like uh head this army and basically, Jesus, these two generals, and God are all going to uh, try and kill um, Ryu. But can you guys guess who the two generals are? They're, like, extremely famous Shiro. people. Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't, oh, it wasn't oh, one Oda oh, Nobunaga. The other one was... Um, Cain and Abel? Fuck, it was, it was someone hilarious. It was... Uh, Hero, Hero, Hero and Zoro are, clo- are close. Hero and Zoro are close. Oh, Bruce Lee? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Bruce Lee's Bruce Lee's one. Yeah, and Abraham, 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 Nope. <laughs> no, no. Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee? No, uh, no, no. Bruce Lee is one, but Zoro was close to the second one. Muhammad Ali. Is that Chuck Norris? It wouldn't be close to Chuck Norris. Jean Claude Van Damme. Or what was it he was saying? I said Alden Obanaga, but what am I close to? Rambo. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He- Hero was close. Yeah, my fault, my fault. Oh, closer. Closer Alden Obanaga. Kenshin. 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 Just kill it. Kenshin. 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 Zoro. Yes, yes. Hey, oh, 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 and fuck y'all, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Oh. So Jesus, Jesus pretty much brings back Bruce Lee and Miyamoto Musashi. <laughs> and they're all trying to kill this guy Ryu. And, <laughs> and, 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 and you know what's so weird? Because in this manga, you actually, you actually, you actually see like the, um, the creation of like the, the earth and stuff. And literally, there's this gorilla with the penis head, okay? And I, <laughs> I, I don't want to get too graphic here, but, <laughs> oh, uh, but, 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 but think of, think of, think of. I think we're really tough. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, I don't want to get too graphic here, but, um, something okay, spurts out of it, and oh. it looks like people. It looks like people, you know, so you pretty much see, like, the earth being populated, oh, volcanoes being formed, and... And then you, 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 you do evolve from the Black Talk. You know, Basically, you're evolve. saying, in this, in this version of evolution, <laughs> mankind was given birth by a giant penis head gorilla? <laughs> Not just one giant penis head gorilla. Oh, 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 even better. Oh my god, that's great. No, you that's work with me better. That is, sir, that is some twisted mythology. Yes, man. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Bruce Lee and Miyamoto Masashi, how, how, it doesn't get more badass than that, yo. They did a fusion. Oh, it does not. <laughs> oh, I don't. I mean, Unfortunate. I mean, it's like fusion. <laughs> from, from gorilla orgies to fucking Bruce Lee and Miyamoto Masashi. Like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Dude. Jesus Christ oh, and the man. Antichrist and God. It's weird though. It's mad weird. It's only like I don't I don't know how many chapters it is. I forget. But yeah, it's actually kind of short. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, going back to the whole Devil Man topic, like no, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish though, because um, the, the main concept of Devil Man is that there's these two friends, and they uh, one tell a friend tells the other, you know, demons actually exist. We gotta find a way to fight them, and the only way to fight them is that you gotta have a pure heart, 
get possessed by a demon and try to control him. If not, then you're just, you're fucking fucked. Um, just think Eclipse ending. That's basically what's gonna happen to you at the end, but, uh, eventually the main character manages to control this one demon named Amon, then becomes Devil Man. He goes around finding some random demons, and then during the middle of the story, the, what, this big demon uh, named Xena pretty much announces that the world's going to end. And that's pretty much what the rest of the story is. It gets very apocalyptic, and it goes into, like, this big mass hysteria where people are getting paranoid of each other because, um, Demons can take human form, and then people are just killing each other left and right, to the point where it resembles the Salem witch trials, and if you seem shaky, you can kind of see, like, how hysteric it can get towards the end. So. Oh, yeah. So, Deb. Yes. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's for what? Are <laughs> <laughs> about to make a goddamn decision? Yeah, come yes. on, Deb. God damn it. I was about to do my intro, and you fucked me up. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it now. <laughs> well, this, this, this video's gone to shit, dude. Thanks a lot. Thanks, dude. This video's gone to shit, thanks to you, man. Dead. The ultimate prima donna move, man. Wow. Okay. Fuck it, right? So, I'm going to recommend something called Bloody Monday. Um, it's a little bit like Death Note in a sense that it's like a thriller, sort of like mystery sort of series. And it follows this like high school student called uh, Fujimaru, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And uh, he's got like an alias. Um, so what's, who's fucking spying for me? <laughs> it's smoke, smoke is listening. Is it? Oh, right, smoke. And um, yeah, so he's like this genius hacker, and his like alias is called Falcon. And, like his father sort of like works for like the Japanese government, it, it's sort of like the equivalent to like the CIA sort of thing. And uh, his father's on the case of like these Russians that have created this like biological weapon uh, called Bloody Monday, and they plan to like release it in like Japan, and it's gonna it's gonna like kill people in, like a really disgusting way, you know, like lungs fucking melt and, you know, they die in a really nasty way sort of thing. So, uh, the Russians basically, like, frame his father for, like, murder, like, to kill one of his, like, best friends in, like, you know, the government that he works for. And it's up to, like, his son to sort of, um, like, basically, like, clear his name, but also, like, help his dad in, like, the shadow sort of, like, stop, you know, the bloody Mon Monday sort of, like, incident, like, happening, like, you know, like, this virus being spread sort of thing. So, it's a pretty cool series. I think it's, like, 12 volumes. That's it. Cool. Everyone's on solid today. See you guys at the end. You know, you know. <laughs> More words, motherfucker. Can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> I just read through one full fiction. I'm sorry. Uh, well, that's, that's a fairly decent movie. Yeah. Fairly decent? Fairly, fairly decent. You know, you know it's, it's like, okay, you know, decent. I could watch it once or twice. So What's well, well, the brief point? Exactly. Oh, that's so good. You know, we need to have a film discussion sometimes. Yeah, that's what we do. What should we be doing Robocop, like, since the three of us are here? True. You know what the best part of the movie is? Is Christopher Walk giving a two-minute kind of, like, story about him? About, about the boy that. in his ass? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's the best part of the movie, dude. It's so yeah. random, too. It's so weird, dude. It has no at all connection to the story. It's just him, Christopher Walk, in three minutes, talking about shoving a... Fucking watch up his ass. Well, well, you know, you could argue, you could argue that you know, it showed how important it was. Yeah, I know, but it, I, I don't know. He, so, sometimes, man, you ha when you have to like go follow through with something, you have to shove it deep in your rectum. Deep in the rectum, exactly. Deep in your rectum. Yeah. They gave it to me. My, my father, I shoved it up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All right, guys. Shall we uh, round up this? Hell, the walk. I think we should. Yeah, all right. All track. It's my fault. So, uh, would you uh, do the outros for us, sir? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Outros. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. Green plan here with this topic. I could just like this video. Oh my god, I'm doing my intro. I'm, doing my intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so used to it. Um, oh my god. I'm about to say I could just like this video. You know the rest. Uh, <laughs> you know the rest. Uh, all right. This is in the green clan here. You know, give us your opinion on the topic in the comments below, and we are out. Peace. See ya. Yes, let me hold her door. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Hey, that was the bro. worst outro ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had it in me. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? The good thing is, initiation is over. It's Z next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next time, Z's got to do it. Yeah.